What's happening, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Good morning, everybody. You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels and another episode of Weird Products Daily. Uh, got kind of a cool gadget for you guys today. This Weird Products Daily, this is a relatively new series. We're almost getting to about a month. A new series where we highlight, feature interesting gadgets, gag gifts, unique products, just kind of weird products, as the name goes. Uh, kind of the goal here. Uh, kind of get those creative juices flowing, get you guys thinking about different niches to explore, different businesses you can start, different products you can roll out. I think a lot of these products would be attractive to drop shippers as they're unique items, they're impulse buy type items, they're things people haven't seen before, and those types of things tend to do well with drop shipping. Uh, another reason uh, for, for this series, you know, I think a lot of you guys are into private labeling and something we see with a lot of these products that we feature. Uh, great idea, poor execution. So in theory, the, the product is a good idea, uh, but it's made poorly. There's a flaw with it. And a lot of times we'll see these products are, are great ideas, but have low YouTube review or low YouTube, uh, low Amazon reviews. And that's actually the case with today's product. Uh, today's product, I think, is a fabulous idea, but the reviews aren't the greatest. Uh, there's some flaws in the design of this product, and therefore it only has three stars. Um, so for any of you guys who are into private labeling, a lot of these products are maybe something you come out with your own version of. Uh, fix some of the shortcomings of it and potentially have yourself a hot Amazon seller. Uh, or maybe you sell products that are already within these niches. You already have a store, and this is something you can add to your store. So uh, today's product, I thought this was a genius idea. Uh, it looks like the execution fell a little bit short. This is a Relay Kids Phone Alternative, uh, a screen-free, smarter phone with 4G nationwide coverage. Uh, it's kind of got a walkie-talkie feature. So what this is, it's kind of like those phones, you know, here's kind of another twist on it. You guys remember the Jitterbug phone? You guys have probably seen the tele te television commercials for it. It's basically like a dumbed-down phone for older people so that they don't have all the different features to kind of get lost in the menus. Uh, well, kids don't have that problem. Kids are almost too good with technology these days. But, um, you know, some of my family members, some of my cousins have kids. And, and one thing that I can tell that they struggle with is in this day and age, it's almost a necessity to have a, a smartphone. It would probably make your life a lot easier if, if your kids had a smartphone. You can keep track of them. They get out of soccer practice early. They can call you on the phone and, hey, mom, I got out of soccer practice 30 minutes early. Okay, I'll head right over there. Um, if an emergency ever comes up, parents probably feel more confident knowing their kids have an easy way to get a hold of them. I mean, shit, pay phones aren't even around anymore, right? So if you don't have a cell phone, uh, it's kind of hard to, to get a hold of people. And what, where I think, what I think a lot of parents probably struggle with is they would love – for their kids to have a cell phone, but either it's incredibly expensive and kids break and lose things and they're going to wind up losing a several hundred dollar uh, cell phone. Um, plus you have to buy them the cell phone, plus cell phone service isn't cheap. So that's one problem. I think the other problem, even if money isn't an issue, uh, you know, putting a phone, a smartphone especially, in a kid's hand is a dangerous thing, you know. Parents like to be able to keep track of what their kids are up to. We see all these, like, creep catchers videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of weirdos out there who can get a hold of your child through social media. Obviously, kids are exposed to a lot of things probably above their maturity level on YouTube, on Instagram. Um, you know, there's just a lot of shit you can get into on the Internet. And I think a lot of parents don't necessarily want to uh, put that power in their kids' hands, although they would like them to have a phone. So this, to me, solves both those problems. What this is, it's, it's basically a uh, looks like pretty heavy-duty uh, cell phone alternative. As you can see, there's no screen here. Uh, there's essentially like a volume button and a power button, and that's about it. Um, looks like it can like clip to a backpack. Uh, it can go on an armband. Um, oh, sorry, let's play a little bit of this for you. Now this seems to somehow connect to your phone service, um, and rather than paying for an entire new, entirely new line, it's just nine ninety nine a month. Seriously? Hey, sorry, Jimmy. Next time, come on. So anyhow, I mean, this device is only forty nine bucks. The service is ten dollars a month. It's not going to break the bank. Uh, it allows you to have easy contact with your children uh, without giving them access to the internet and social media and everything else uh, that parents probably fear putting in their kids' hands. And uh, so it seems like a, a great deal. The one thing I was a little bit confused on is like, is this actually like a phone service? Is this like a push to talk walkie talkie? Like, is this just a walkie talkie? How does this thing work? From the comments, it seems like it's not necessarily available in every area and with every. 
uh, phone service. It seems like Verizon it's pretty prominent with. Um, it does work on Android and the Apple Store. Uh, been featured on uh, PC Magazine, Fast Company, uh, People's Choice Awards, and today. Uh, but if we get down to uh, the questions here uh, and the reviews, what a lot of people say, you know, there's some shortcomings in this device. So uh, one of the things people said is like, if your app, if the parent doesn't have the app and running all the time, uh, they're not going to get notifications. I think they weren't able to set the notifications to a loud chime or a loud ring. Uh, so people definitely had some, let's see, do not buy, shuts off, running in the background, will not run for longer than 60 seconds. So basically, the app will only run for 60 seconds before shutting itself down, but if the app isn't open, your kid can't get a hold of you. So, uh, you know, this is one of those things that's awesome in, in theory, uh, kind of poorly done in execution. I imagine that can, could be fixed if they kind of, like, redesigned the app or something like that. Um... Unfortunately, you know, this is kind of a more complex device. This probably isn't going to be something that somebody like you or I would be able to just roll out and private label with a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars. Uh, but nonetheless, I thought it was kind of a, a nifty idea, a nifty concept, um, and thought it was kind of a, an idea that might kind of get your brain running in terms of, uh, you know, I think that's kind of a, a big audience, a big niche, is uh, products for parents or products for parents and kids to keep them in touch. Uh, so maybe it, it launches kind of a creative idea in your head, but kind of thought this was, uh, was an interesting concept. If any of you guys have actually bought any of these or actually used these or, or have kids and have these, uh, let me know what you think of it. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, the weird product of the day. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. Uh, we'll catch you for another episode of Weird Products Daily tomorrow. Later, guys.